Hi guys, today I'm here with an iHerb haul. I did one of these at the beginning of the year or the end of last year and you guys really liked it. Uh, iHerb is a place where I get uh, a lot of my, well pretty much all of my e.l.f. cosmetics and my Real Techniques brushes. I also get a few other little bits and pieces. Their website is quite unique, like it has a weird range of things but everything is really reasonably priced and shipping is great as well. I'll have a coupon code listed down below if you wanted to go and check it out. I think it gets you $10 off your first purchase if it's over $40. It also I think has a flat rate shipping of $4 so go and check it out down below. Um, I always have it in all of my videos so yeah you can save a little bit of money which you're saving already because things are so cheap. The first thing that I have here is this e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Now I haven't actually used this before so let's give it a go. It says with aloe, green, tea, cucumber, vitamins A, C and E. very wet. It doesn't have a scent. Uh, this did come in a little packaging but I had to refilm this video so I don't have any of the original packaging for some of the stuff. Um, it says it's color clear, that's funny. This is only a couple of dollars and it's a real nice size, like it's a really good travel size. For example, here's my MAC Fix Plus and uh, that is 100 mils and this is 60 mils. So this is a perfect travel size uh, so I can take it away with me when um, I go places or I can just leave it out here or whatever. I use these mainly like to wet my brush or if I'm feeling like a little bit too cakey, I like to spray it over my makeup um, or too powder. I like to spray it over my makeup and it kind of like makes my face look a little bit more dewy and settled if that makes sense. The so next thing here is an e.l.f. blush. This is in Peachy Keen and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I have one of the e.l.f. blushes. I think it's in Twinkle Pink and it's very, very lovely and I like the quality of these blushes for what they are. I think they're only like $3 or something. They are so amazing. Um, they're great if you, even if you're just starting out with makeup or if you want to add a few different colors to your collection, I will definitely be picking more of these ones up because they are great. Going with the coral peachy theme, I did get another matte lip color. This one is in coral. These two are, I would actually say go pretty much hand in hand. They are nearly the same color. This one's obviously like more pigmented. I wouldn't say it's coral. I would say it's like a nudey pink kind of coral if that makes sense. I really like the formula of these matte lip colors. They are not drying at all. They last a really long time and they're very easy to apply especially because they have like a wind up uh, pencil like you don't have to sharpen them or anything like that and yeah they come in a really great range of colors so I'll be picking more of these up oh actually I did get another one in this haul I've got the naturally nude one I don't know if I picked it up in this haul or another haul as you can see the difference the naturally nude is a lot lighter than the coral color but they are quite similar so yeah I really love these uh, matte lip colors. I definitely recommend them for only a couple of dollars. Very easy to apply, very pigmented, and they stay on a long time. I went elf crazy to be honest. Um, I picked up the Flawless Finish Foundation in Buff and Sand. I didn't know what color I was and when I looked at the swatches of these online I could see that there was actually a really big difference in the colors. So I thought I'd just pick up both because they're only like five dollars and just test them out and see which one I like better. Stay tuned for a first impression on these um, because I will definitely do that for you if you're interested. It does have an SPF of 15 which is quite low so um, interesting to see the flashback on that another elf product now this I haven't even tried it so I don't know if it's gonna work but it's the elf little pressed powder and okay first thing you notice it's completely not my color for a pressed powder I got it in the color cocoa and I got it to try and contour with so I don't know if it's gonna work it might be actually too pigmented because it is really really pigmented but it's a nice cool tone gray kind of color for a bronzer so I don't know it might work it might not I don't know we'll have to see next up I have the desert essence pure jojoba oil I haven't tried jojoba oil before but I was really keen to give it a go um, Shannon from Shanexo really loves jojoba oil I don't know if like it matters from brand to brand like 
I know I love a certain brand of rosehip oil, so it probably does, but I thought that this was like, this is huge. This is 118 mils, and it was only like maybe $6, I think. I don't know, it was just like too good to pass up. I thought that this would be really good um, to put in my hair overnight. I haven't used it yet as a hair mask or anything for that matter. Um, but yeah, really keen to try it. Okay, so it can be used to remove makeup, uh, to cleanse clogged pores, soften your hands, you can treat your hair and scalp to a massage, suitable for even the most sensitive skin. The last thing that I've got here is the big ticket item. It is the Real Techniques NYX Picks brush. And it comes with a duo fiber face brush, a cheek brush, an angled shadow brush, base shadow brush, and eyeliner brush. Now I've taken these out and had a little feel of them. They feel really great. They, um, I love these small ones. They look fantastic. I can't wait to use them. I love the Real Techniques brushes, especially for their price. They're really dense. Um, they don't have much fallout. It's so weird because I picked up a, I think it's a Sam's Picks one in Ulta in America and for some reason those ones shed but none of my other brushes have shedded from Real Techniques. They are the real deal from iHerb. This was like $30 which is an absolute bargain for brushes. I like the uh, silver handles, they look awesome. I get all of my Real Techniques brushes from iHerb because they are so much cheaper. Do not waste your money on getting them in Priceline when you can get them like so much cheaper on iHerb. If you're gonna get anything from iHerb, definitely check out these brushes. So that is the end of my iHerb haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know down below if you've bought anything from iHerb and what your favorite thing to buy is from there. I'd love to know. I've never had any problems. My orders come within um, a week and a half, I would say. Maximum two weeks for me that I've experienced. I haven't had to wait any longer than that. Um, everything comes really, really well packaged. Nothing has become broken for me so I definitely 110% recommend the site everything is legit on there so don't be scared um, things do come in and out of stock so uh, just keep checking the site back um, usually they'll tell you when something's due to come back in as well which is really great um, but yeah that's all for me today I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video bye hey guys a quick little check-in I finished my makeup it's 11 41 so my makeup took forever to do but whatevs um, so this is the finished look of the foundation like I mean it looks okay it looks a bit powdery like around my peach face